everyone. Thank you for clicking my video. My name is Melanie and I decided to keep a vlog on my life with my Moroccan cockatoo, also known salmon uh, crested cockatoo, mainly to inform everybody on what it is like to be owned by such a bird. I say owned because they do own you and they demand a lot of attention. They want to spend all day with you. Um, I find it sad that many people get these birds and are not educated um, or informed about them they uh, ultimately get them surrendered or gotten rid of which i find very sad and that's why i wanted to make this vlog i will have many other videos i try to be an advocate for animals because they don't have a voice of their own all my animals have been either rescued or been given to me um, i had an african gray par parrot her name was Cartoo. she was about 25 years old when i got her and she died when she was about 30 probably to due to malnutrition of uh, from before, from the owner before, um, probably too little, too late, but she had a great last year, couple of years. She was uh, wonderful and had um, a good life. I also had a lovebird, which is a tiny parrot. Um, his name was Rody, and I had him since he was a baby, and he got to be 17 and a half years old, which is very good uh, for a little teeny tiny bird like that. I also have three rescue dogs, which you might hear um, sometimes barking in the background. Now, I don't claim to know everything. Um, this is just how I take care of my birds or my animals. So if you have any comments for me or how to do it better, uh, I welcome that, but please be kind. Uh, the purpose of this vlog is to educate those people that I might think about getting one of those birds and to see that they are not just fun. They sometimes can be stressful too. Um, because many, many of these birds get returned, which is uh, very sad. So now I'm gonna be introducing my bird, Milo, uh, who is a four-year-old uh, Moroccan cockatoo, okay? Okay, this is Milo, a Moroccan cockatoo. He is four years old and very sweet. He was surrendered by his owner with the claim that he was allergic to his dust. Would not be a reason for me to give up an animal, but that's just me. Ah, and he's climbing up. Hopefully he won't get loud. Moroccan cockatoos produce a lot of white dust. That is true. My room is full of white dust. Hi, Milo. Hi, Milo. Hold on. Say hello. All right, so then here's some basic information about the Moroccan cockatoo. Cockatoos have a lot of subspecies, um, the Moroccan being the one of the biggest. Um, um, they grow about 40 to 50 centimeters, which is like 15 to 20 inches. Their weight is somewhere between like 750 grams and 950 grams which I think is like 25 to 35 ounces, something like that. Yeah. They can get pretty old. Uh, in <laughs> Hi, Milo. Hi, buddy. Um, in the wild, usually, I mean, the, the sources vary, but they say something like, you know, 80 years, but I guess maybe conservatively, maybe 60 years. In captivity, usually, they say maybe about 30 to 40 years, um, just because of nutrition, I'm guessing. Um, they have white feathers, mostly. Some of them sometimes have like this pink hue to them. You can see it a little bit on him there, but um, they have under their wings and under their tail, they have yellow, some yellow feathers. And on his crest, he has some orange salmon, peachy looking feathers. He's not not impressed right now, so he's not opening them up. He's listening to my voice. <laughs> um, they have a very super loud call. Super loud. Um, it is known, well I've, I've seen it online, that it's been compared to the loudness of a 747 airplane, like jumbo, jumbo jet which has like 140 decibels. That's what you call it, decibels, I think. And I think they are somewhere just under there, like 135. 
they are very loud. You will see this in my other videos. Super loud. He actually was just super loud right before this video and I had to step outside. <laughs> now he's being all angelic. <laughs> um, usually the males have uh, black eyes. Like you can see, he has black eyes with uh, the white skin around it. And the females will have like brown, you can see the pupil um, or reddish color. That's usually how you can distinguish them. Um, trying to see, they are very big chewers. I mean, they chew everything. My ground molding has gotten some of that and um, I will show you his cage in a different video. Um, but I, I'll show you real quick, he has a really big cage, which is another thing, it gets really expensive. The chew toys I make myself. I try to use um, natural um, things, but I do use some plastic, you know, like baby toys you can see in the back there. Um, his cage is five feet by seven feet, uh, and I'm trying to use only uh, natural branches. I uh, forgot what they're called now. Java or dragon wood. I get them at the bird store. Um, so that can get very expensive. They're so messy. You are so messy. Very messy guy. Um, the food is going to be all over. The toys get flung and thrown. The chips of the <laughs> chewed up wood is going to be on the floor. So, but that's okay. That's all fun and good. And I tried it again. Here, these are his toys, his boxes. He likes them in his cage and he just crawls down there and just tosses it all out and throws it on the ground and I have sand in mine just because um, I think it's easier for me to scoop it up when he makes a mess but it is um, very dusty so I might change my mind about that. Um, he is very loving but he does have a temper too so you always have to be careful um, when you're handling him. He, his bite can be very strong. I think their bite is something like 200 pounds per square inch. And I have been on the butt end of that and it does hurt um, when he gets into one of his moods, which again, you will see, hear him huffing. Naughty, you're being naughty. No, you're being super good right now. Um, let's see what else. I did make myself notes so I can uh, make sure that I, oops, I'm sorry. Um, address everything. This, the purpose of this video is mostly for you guys to be informed about what these birds are like before you get one of those because unfortunately these birds are returned very often because people look at their fun videos on YouTube and they look so cute and funny but then reality kicks in. They are so loud. They are very loud, destructive, and noisy, um, which is the same as loud, um, messy. Um, but I love him. He's uh, very spoiled, <laughs> very spoiled. Um, I make tons of uh, toys for him. I feed him only the best foods. I have had him for about two months, no, sorry, for four months uh, now. And while he's gotten a lot better about letting me pet him and play with him and everything, he is still very standoffish when it comes to stepping up. I have tried everything that I've seen online, but he's not very food driven. Um, so it's really hard for me to, as soon as I go with my hand, close with my hand, let me try, he will either back away, oh, of course, now he's not doing it, but I'm kind of worried <laughs> that he's going to bite me. Um, he is just not interested, but if anybody has any ideas about how to maybe help me uh, get him to step up or any ideas, um, please uh, leave any comments below. Um, Yes, let's see what else. Um, I hope I was being helpful with uh, your decision on what when to get a cockatoo. Please, um, obviously, like my video and subscribe um, because I will be posting many more of these videos on here. How, how to take care of him, what kind of cage he has, uh, maybe questions and answers, and what to feed and so on. If you have helpful tips or comments, again, put them down below. Oh, there he goes. Uh, please like and put the note uh, and subscribe and push the uh, notification button. Uh oh, here he goes. Um, and thank you so much for watching my video. 
Um, and thank you till next time. Goodbye. Can you say goodbye, Milo Milo? Oh, he's going to swing for you. Yay, guys. <laughs> Woohoo. <laughs> Good night.